Let's explore weathering by water. Think, how can just water break down rocks? Pause and discuss, when would you see rocks in water? First, let's look at how ice can weather rocks. Take a normal bottle of water and put it in your freezer for a few hours. The water will turn solid because it's so cold. These water bottles started out exactly the same. Think and discuss what's different about the two water bottles now. Pay attention to how full the water bottle filled with ice is. Check out the shape of the bottom of the water bottle. How did this happen? Pause and discuss your thoughts. Now that you've discussed, you'll notice that water expands when it freezes. Let's prove this with another little experiment. Fill a measuring cup with water. Measure carefully and take note of exactly how much is in the cup. In my cup, I have exactly one cup of water. Then place the cup into the freezer for a few hours. When we take it out, you'll notice the water is frozen. The water is completely solid. Read the measuring cup carefully. Is it still one cup? What caused this change? So imagine what would happen if liquid water got in the cracks in between rocks. Then it froze and expanded. What would happen to those rocks? That's right. The rocks would break, also known as weathering. Now what about liquid water? Can liquid water weather rocks? Let's take a few rocks and place them in a water bottle. Then we'll fill the water bottle with water and make some observations. In order to see weathering, we need the water to move. So let's take our water bottle with rocks in it and give it a good shake. When we use less water, we can actually see the results better. What do you see? What's happening to the rocks? What's happening to the water? What can you see in the water? Let's compare our water with the rocks in it to some water that didn't have rocks in it. What do you notice? Pause and share out. Now you've seen that liquid water can break down rocks too. Water can also move the small pieces of rock. This is called erosion. Make some observations as I pour water over these rocks. What do you see? Is there any movement? What's changing? Remember, weathering is the breaking down of rocks and erosion is the movement of those broken down pieces. Now it's time to discuss and reflect. What do you think? How does water weather and erode rocks?